Hey everyone, today's video is about our Atwood stove. This is the Wedgwood Vision. Problem, Cheryl says one of the burners don't light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna troubleshoot it and try to find out why. This is the one she's saying does not light. So let's give it some gas. She's right, it doesn't. So in troubleshooting, my first thing is, is the stove actually getting gas? Let's try this burner. Yep, how about this one? Yep, so what that tells me is this getting gas. Easiest way to find out, you can turn it on and you can sniff. But seeing how we don't have smell of vision and I have a lighter, we do not recommend this. Let's just see if it... Okay, so it's getting gas. Now what that tells me is somewhere between the spark knob here and the igniter on this burner, there's an oops. So <laughs> we're gonna take this apart and see what that oops is. First thing, grab hold of the rack, pull it straight up. For this piece here, push back and then lift up, just like that. That's it. This is how it looks underneath your stove top. Now what happens is, when you turn the knob for spark, as you turn it, it sends a small amount of juice down the wire right to the igniter. You have gas coming out of here, it sparks it, you have a nice little flame going on. But as these wires get older, they start to crack, the outer housing. So this is what happens. Why don't you shut the light off? So as we're trying to light that burner, see it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually jumping from the wire to the metal, so it's not even getting up to here. Now what we did do is we covered it with electrical tape, as you can see on this wire, because none of our wires are any good. <laughs> Does that work? Yes. Should you replace the wires? Yes. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We will have the link in the description box down below. These are the exact wires for this particular stove. We're going to start with the one we know doesn't work, just to make sure. So just grab back here and just pull out the wire, fish it through, and then on here, just pull it straight down, and it's off. Now the new wires are definitely thicker. Hopefully they'll stay longer. Yeah, and they are longer too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do first, we'll hook up to the igniter here. That's done. We're gonna fish the wire back through. Try to keep it under everything. Bring it around. Oop, you don't want it kinked out like that. And then, just push it right in. All right, before we go any further, let's give it a little bit of gas. Success! <laughs> I want everything hot. All right, so all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna switch out the rest of them. I'm changing out the other two wires is just as simple as the first one. See the round wire here? That one goes onto the piezo igniter and the other end of it will clip onto the igniter that is attached to the gas burner. That simple. All right, let's see if they all work. Start with the one we already tested. Yep. Yep. There you go. Now we can put it back together. Yeah. As far as we're installing this piece, on the back, you have a slot right there, and you have a slot right there. Those are going to go on these two tabs here. These are kind of spring-loaded. You'll see why in a minute. Then up front, come down here. Okay. See that tab right there bent up? There's another one right there. This tab here and this tab here are going to slide underneath them. And make sure you have your little rubber feet on also. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is just line those back ones up. Now, the reason why the spring loaded is you just push it back, then slide it forward and just make sure the front is locked in, and that's how it's put on. Ta -da. And then, this piece here just fits in those four holes. Cool. Now that it's all back together, just one more check of everything. The one that didn't work, works. The front one, works. The other back one, works. Now instead of uh, wasting propane, because they all work, you must be happy now, huh, honey? I am. <laughs> all three burners are back. And for the rest of you, if you like what you saw, I would appreciate that thumbs up as always. You want to become part of the Grown Get Gone With Us gang? Right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down below, or you could just say hi because we'll say hi back. We always do. Until our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We're Get Gone With Us. Bye.